Your boss has been telling the world today that Margaret Thatcher dragged Britain out of its stupor. What's he up to as the Labour leader saying that? Well, the point that Keir is making is that he has changed the Labour Party and on the strength of that, he can go to people and say, we can change the country. And there have been prime ministers who've done that. I would think of Atlee Blair, but Thatcher was someone, even though I wouldn't support her politics, I would recognise she was that force for change. And at the next election, if people want change, it's the Labour Party that will be the vehicle to do that. If they want more of the same, they can have that with the Conservatives. But Keir is in a position now to say, look, if you want change, if you want national renewal, Labour is the vehicle to do that. What do you most admire about Margaret Thatcher? Well, as I've said, I think you can separate out the policy agenda. I mean, as you know, I come from a mining town in, in County Durham. So on a political level, her policies, not something I'd be sympathetic to, but I would certainly recognise her as a formidable opponent, you know, or an opponent you'd have to respect, who had an agenda, who implemented that agenda. There was big change after the 1970s. We don't need to discuss that, but there are prime ministers who make a difference, who do change the future of the country, who do come with that consistent and combined agenda that changes the path of the country. We've seen that in the past. We haven't had that for the last 13 years. We've had, you know, things year to year, prime minister to prime minister. It's quite hard to even keep track of them, let alone their agendas. There are people, however, who do do it differently. And I think I can recognise in someone like Thatcher, someone who did that, even if I wouldn't support the specific policies that she had.